Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. I'm going to tap into the energies that are surrounding you, coming towards you. See what it is that you need to know from your spirit guides and your angels. I'm going to pull a couple Oracle, and then I'll clarify it with Tarot. I'm going to actually pull from two different Oracle decks. The first is the Situation deck, the next is the Love and then, like I said, I will dive deeper with Tarot. What is the energy of love surrounding Aries? And what does Aries need to know for their greatest high skin? So it looks like you could be moving towards commitment with that engagement ring. It says higher commitment, partnership, union, completion. Someone is coming forward authentically. Someone's afraid to lose you. Someone has gambled the connection with you. Someone has put you in a situation where you felt ed, um, disposable, which may lead you towards a connection of higher commitment. Could be with this person, could be with someone else, not sure. The camera card is in the reverse as reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past perceptions. I feel that you're moving towards somebody new. Give me some more energy of love in regards to that which surrounds Aries. I do feel that someone you were connected to possibly um, wasn't willing to take the leap of faith with you. So you're detached from that. I do feel because the camera with the reminiscing from the past is in the reverse that this is validating that you're moving towards a new union. Towards partnership Aries is what I'm getting. One more shuffle. I'm going to pull the love card here and then I will do a six card spread with tarot i'm going to use the lightseer deck energy of love let go of control issues so be present in the moment is what i'm getting aries don't force things and i feel that's something that you've been working very hard towards right about being in the flow of the energy presented by the universe accepting what falls away being open to what comes towards you with gratitude, right? No expectation. And I feel that is going to put you towards um, a higher vibration connection. It says allow the situation to unfold naturally, right? So don't fight it. Don't fight with it. Just accept it, right? So that's huge. That's a huge part of being in a healthy energy is not trying to control everything. There's things that are happening around you that are out of your control. Bigger picture things, Aries, is the energy that I'm getting. So I'm going to do a six card spread to dive deeper into this message. So if you're a cross watcher for Aries, flip switch the energies, rolls, don't force messages. Only take that which resonates to your situation story. I do have personals available. Connect with me through the email provided in the description box below, as well as there will be an extended. That link is down there as well. One more shuffle. Please protect the collective. Do not allow for any negative attachments. Allow me to channel for the greatest, highest good. So the first card, Aries, will be the anchor of this message. And we have two of pentacles, so choice. You've been juggling for a long time. Two of pentacles, that's Capricorn energy. So you're needing to make a decision. A decision needs to be made is what I'm getting. Eight of cups to walk away or to stay, to choose something or to move away is what I'm getting. Taking a chance, risks, options, not showing hand, gambling. Eight of cups in the reverse, that's Pisces energy. That's somebody that's not wanting you to walk away. Someone doesn't want you to walk away. Someone wants you to choose them. Eight of Cups could be a water sign. Three of Cups. There is reconciliation in mind here. Someone is thinking of you. Could So I do feel you're focused on the future. You're not looking backwards. You're looking towards making new connection. Because you've changed some of your perceptions. I think that's been very much the focus, right? Being present in the moment. Practicing uh, mindfulness. Allowing the situation to unfold naturally accepting what falls away moving towards higher commitment if that's something that you're interested in in regards to love could be in regards to business career finances as well there is it says eternity so that's about alignment with purpose through a partnership union a completion of a cycle right this is something that's a sure bet 
and the, but this two of pentacles isn't a sure bet is what I'm getting because that's choice that's juggling so but then we've got the world in the reverse as well so it's like the world is about an ending of a cycle so there's something that's falling away from you that you're letting go of that you're not fighting for um, this is a situation somebody doesn't want to let you go. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Someone doesn't want to see you be on your own, but someone has, has been dishonest. There's someone connecting to you, Aries, that isn't being honest. Someone is being manipulative because of past um, situations. Someone is wanting a relationship or a union with you, but yet they're not being open or honest. This is someone that wants to be in a relationship with you, but this is someone that isn't of the same vibration. But they are attached to you, is what I'm getting here. So we'll see what else comes out. Go control. So if you're feeling, if you are connecting to someone, Aries, where there was potential, but you feel that you're not seeing the bigger picture or that you're not being, uh, you're, you're not getting the full details, someone isn't being completely open and honest. It's about trusting you know, setting boundaries for yourself, choosing self, two of pentacles, because you do have a choice to make is what I feel. What is the challenge that Aries is facing in regards to this energy? Four of pentacles, letting it go. Now we've got more pentacles. That's all earth energy. So this is happening in the 3D. Um, this is tangible, right? Two of pentacles, four of pentacles. You're deciding to let something go and you're struggling with it because this is something where, you know, there was potential is what I'm getting, but you're accepting that if this person isn't meant for you, if this person falls away, you're letting them is what I'm getting. Somebody wasn't willing to take a chance or take a leap of faith. Someone was afraid is what I'm getting. So you're letting that go for pentacles energy. Four of Pentacles, that's Capricorn as well. So heavy Capricorn here for you. Aries in regards to the connecting energies. Show me the energy of the recent past that surrounds Aries. In regards to this message, what happened in the recent past? King of Pentacles, more Pentacles. And then the High Priestess in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is something that you feel that you're not supposed to stay with, right? You feel like whomever this is, you are very, um, you're very um, into them. You see a lot of potential here, right? There's a lot of shared qualities, shared goals, shared passions that's this person's holding back and then we've got the wheel of fortune in the reverse it's too difficult it's like you're letting go of something that has become too difficult right like the juice isn't worth the squeeze for you aries with that wheel of fortune six of pentacles there's imbalance in the exchange this person isn't open to you like you are to them. And that's why this is falling apart with the tower because you're meant for something more, 10 of pentacles. So you're letting something go in order to move towards something that is more in alignment, something that's part of your expansion. So trust that um, you are being guided towards something bigger, better. Ten of Pentacles is ultimate goal. Ten of Pentacles. And I mean, we have so much earth here. I feel like that is something that you've been working really hard towards. Two of Pentacles, four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, right all the way to the Ten of Pentacles. So trust that whatever is falling away from you is part of your expansion, Aries, right? Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Just live your life, right? Keep living your life, choosing self, um, taking care of your responsibilities and, and just being open to what's falling away from you is what I'm getting. You may be releasing a Virgo, High Priestess energy, um, and then the Wheel of Fortune, Libra, right? So very grounded decisions you're making here is what I'm getting. Show me the energy that surrounds Aries that they are not aware of in regards to this message. 
What's the energy surrounding them that they're not aware of in regards to this message, Spirit? King of Wands. So that's Aries energy. So you are standing in your power. I'm drawn to the line. The line is about strength. It's about bravery. It's about courage. So let go of what isn't serving you. Face the future with your heart open, being present through mindfulness, gratitude, that the universe is moving you towards your purpose, King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups in the reverse. Finding soulmate energy in a different place. Possibly finding soulmate energy within yourself. Right? I feel that you're letting go of someone that's dealing with something else. That's part of their karmic lessons. Part of their karmic debt. Could involve children with Six of Cups. Um, six of Swords in the reverse. So that's a Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy, Ace of Pentacles. This isn't the right time. There is no potential for a new beginning with this person because this person's very much dealing with the karma of another situation. So it's an opportunity for you to continue to grow in your power is what I feel. And your, your guides and your angels are wanting you to be brave and to be bold, Aries. And just accept that this is what is required of you at this time. Please show me the person that is connecting to Aries. How does this person feel about Aries? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. They don't feel like they're actually able to give you what you want or what you deserve. This is someone that I feel is attracted to you. Maybe dealing with another Aries with that King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles energy that is Virgo. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that feels like they have nothing to, to contribute. Three of pentacles, Capricorn, so lots of Capricorn here. This is someone that is dealing with a different contract is what I'm getting. This person is attracted to you. This person's inspired by you. This person enjoys you. This person likes watching you. But this person is not available to enter a union or contract with you. So I do feel that you are choosing to let it go. To work towards something that's more tangible in your energy right now. Because this is holding you back with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Right? So trust. Like the angels are telling you, let go of control. Allow this said, uh, situation to unfold naturally. Nine of Swords, release any fear that you may have because you are making the right choice. Magician in the reverse. Knight of Swords in the reverse. And Strength. So someone is holding back, communicating how they truly feel. But someone is very much dealing with a previous cycle. Dealing with cleaning out Karmic Debt. The Sun, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. I feel that there's someone that's uh, genuinely in a very terminal or um, heavy vibration that thinks about you, that is considering you in all capacities, but feels like they have nothing to offer at this time. There's no ability to contribute is what I'm getting. So you're moving in a new direction and that makes you really sad. That makes this person really sad. Five of Pentacles, you could be dealing with Taurus. So it's about being left behind, leaving someone behind to work towards something else. Because this isn't your destiny. This isn't your direction forward. So be continue to be bold and to be brave. Because whomever is connecting to you here is closing out their own karma. So I do see you letting go or having or deciding to make or making the decision to choose yourself right now. Your path, your destiny, trusting whatever falls away is for your greatest, highest good. So the person that's connecting to you is very sad. About the fact that they're not able to contribute at this time. What is the outcome of this message for Aries? What does Aries need to know? King of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Cups. That's come out again. And then the Tower. So, what? again, the Tower. So, this is falling apart. Whatever it is here, it's falling apart. Um... Possibly putting you on the path towards higher commitment. This could have had a potential for higher commitment. But whatever this is, is falling apart. Someone isn't being honest. King of Swords in the reverse to the Nine of Cups. I feel whoever's connecting to you is already in a relationship. Like I said, there's karmic debt being played for sure. Um, but I do feel that this person's involved with someone. Nine of Cups in the reverse. That is a very codependent person. That's someone that's stuck in a codependent relationship. And this person is not being honest 
about that. So I feel ultimately you will leave this person behind with that tower energy and it's judgment, right? You are meant for something more than to be stuck in someone's manipulation or lies. Someone wants you, but they can't have you. And I feel that's something that you will be letting go of in order to make room for new contracts to come in is what I feel. So Aries, that's what I have for you. If you're interested in diving deeper, I am going to clarify, see if I can get future actions and intentions of this person. You can click on the link where they extend it. But if this is where we part, thank you so much for Aries for watching. I appreciate you. Take care. Bye.